Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of our 13 Sentinels uh, Let's Play. In the last episode we concluded Natsuno's arc, as well as uh, Yuki's arc. And uh, we lost BJ. I think I want to continue the theme. We're going to keep going with Kataro, and this will put us closer to the uh, having enough people um, to potentially uh, unlock the story. So it's currently our story progress is at 38%, um, which uh, it's going to be a while before we are able to get to the 80% to continue with Takatoshi. But well, let's go ahead and uh, get the one step closer with Kataro. Should I collect our thoughts and review? Back in 1945, everyone mysteriously vanished. But here in 1985, 40 years later, there's no historical evidence or impact from that event. It yeah, that's kind of weird. A concept I read about in a science book. The idea of two similar parallel worlds. According to the history of this era, it has indeed been 40 years. But this era doesn't seem to be based on the era I'm from. The two aren't connected. Perhaps yeah, it's like they're unique really pockets. Time travel after all. I think there's something to what you're thinking there. Chihiro. She was acting like a completely different person. Design engineer? Controlling the system? What was she talking about? <sighs> Chihiro. Chihiro There's more to think on it. To her? Chihiro Morimura? She's the original Chihiro? Is there no going back to the way she used to be? Chihiro. There's a lot to unpack there, man. Even if I do bring the Sentinel back home, how can I bring myself to fight? The ones I swore to protect are gone. The footage he showed us is allegedly from the future. If it's real, then how am I still alive 200 years from now? That is a good question. All I know for certain is that it's no ordinary scout unit. No point in trying to make sense out of his story. It's still too early to say anything for sure. But a scout unit from the future? And it possesses my consciousness? <laughs> Natsuno-san. I forgot that's where we found this out. But I really want to hear her voice right now. It's because Could she's she still best be girl. at school? You know she is. Let's go check it out. See if she's there. No point in trying to make and still to but a and it. Natsuno san. Get it together, Keitaro. <laughs> she certainly is quite. Yes. That is a good admit, adjective. She's for her. bright, cheerful, attractive. But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. <laughs> the heart. The wants of the heart are, are, are difficult. Ooh, maybe the cat will react to us. Nope, no reaction from the cat. Natsuno san's over there. Oh, hello. Oh, what do I do? What's wrong? What's the hurry? Miyura-kun, BJ's gone. I'm pretty sure he's lost somewhere by himself. If he's caught, we'll never see him again. 
All right. Let's split up and find him. Okay. He couldn't have gone too far. Maybe he's inside one of the school buildings. Okay. Then you search the buildings. I'll search the campus perimeter. Okay. I'm on it. Thanks. Why do you hold your hat that way, dude? Excuse me, young man. That flying RC thing? It went back behind the North School building. Think it belongs to the radio club? It was all boxy and weird shaped. Didn't look like a helicopter to me. It's a bit early for so drones. Can fly. Behind the North Building. That's where the old school building is. No sign of him. That would be a good place to meet him, though. Sounds like rotor blades. Are you trying to draw attention to yourself? Natsuno-san's worried about you. Hey, Taro Miura. I've been scanning for you from overhead. Huh? Is what Sekigahara said true? Are you... me? Hmm. <laughs> That's correct. I am Hitaro Miura. That's a lot to take in. Why do you look like this? When the world was destroyed, I died. <sighs> I had to take your place and fight in the Sentinel. In order to do this, I was resurrected as an AI. So you've been using a Sentinel to fight off those monsters. That's what you're looking for, right? Correct. Then how did your AI end up in this scout unit? There was a malfunction in the Sentinel. So I uploaded a part of myself to this drone. However, 72% of me is still wrapped inside the Sentinel. Does There's a chance know that we could still have him. That you're me? We didn't get a chance to meet in the previous world. I'm very fond of Natsuno. It's best that she doesn't know. <laughs> I wonder why you're fond of Natsuno. Does it have to do with the fact of who you are? If you're really from the future, then you must know what's going to happen. My experiences are all from past events. Past events? Time is relative. Even with future technology, time travel is impossible. Wait, huh? We never travel through time. But you're Keitaro Miura from the future, right? I'm an entity that used to be Miura. Before you. That's even more confusing, but I think I get it. I located the Sentinel. I can now access all logs. So the rest of the do that. footage is available. Promise me. Uh -huh. Before the final invasion begins, you'll research the logs and figure out a solution. Shihiro Morimura's plan. Operation Aegis. It will lead you all down a path of destruction. Chihiro's... plan? Promise me. Why are you asking me this? Because... I'll be gone soon. Oh, we just saw that. Oh! Our Murasan. Is all going as planned? All is 
issues have been resolved on my end. Four sectors are ready for the final phase. The remaining one is at roughly 70%. Sectors? Their structures are similar to these colonies. So that's what I've been calling them. So we'll have five sectors then. I've chosen not They're to divide all them based on orbital positions. Instead, I've separated them by historical eras. Yeah, I figured that was what's going on. That's why, why time travel doesn't matter. District of the, present day. the decision was made to start over. From a time before the world took such a terrible turn. Before the nanomachine incidents? So this is all a Perhaps simulation. Perhaps humanity tasted the fruit of knowledge too early. When it was being decided how far we should go back, we couldn't come to an agreement. So we ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era. I've always wanted to live in the 20th century before the war. So this works out perfectly. However, some resources of the era are quite old. Accurately reproducing them might pose a difficulty. I don't think I can do it with confidence. That's fine. As long as our civilization survives, I'll be happy. Once it's completed, just one district will be the size of a city. It'll have a bustling population of 1.2 million people. We have more residential areas than we originally planned. Miss Karabe's hands are going to be awfully full. I'm sure everything will be finished on time. I have to get back to work. Understood. So they are not time traveling, they are... They're... It's a simulation, maybe? Okay, well we have to wait to get further with Kataro, and this is going to be a shorter episode for us, but yeah, we um, did in fact see, um, so now we're at, ha we're at halfway mark for getting that there. I might fin finish off Nenji next time. I think that might be a good idea, so, like clearing him, because we've already seen him go down that route. So, um, thank you for watching. Stay safe, and have a wonderful day. So if I want to battle, I need to do Shu Amaguchi, huh?